Hello and welcome back to the MineTrek.net game server. Today is March 17th and I just completed mirroring deck 30 and 31 yesterday on the, or excuse me, the day before yesterday on the 15th. I've taken a couple of days off from the server and went ahead and crunched through all the footage I've had, about four terabytes, and have been uploading it. So the drought that has been my channel should have well, it should be loosening up quite a bit with uh, quite a bit more content coming. Anyways, uh, go ahead and talk about what's going on in the build. Not a lot has changed um, given the last video. And I just, like I said, the only thing that really has changed is I've mirrored these two decks and been doing a lot of fine tuning and tweaking as well as that of what M. Heller's been doing. So, anyways, without further ado, this is a big open area on deck. That's This is deck. 30 and that's 31 right there. Now on one of the videos a while back we were at the top of the computer core and I told you that the top of the computer core was smaller than the rest of the computer core for the drive section and that is the case. This is the area we're actually standing on top of the computer core itself and this is the little room directly in the center of the computer core. So if we come down in here you kinda you're actually in the heart of the computer core now. So, and this is the same size computer core that is in the drive section. It's just a little bit sh smaller as far as height goes. So, but yeah, all the way around here, I went ahead and mocked this all up. And I tried to do it in a way that um, M. Heller had uh, set up for the original drive hull, but with a little bit cleaner lines, less confusion. So when you come into this area here, it's more of a relaxed feel. It's not so... I don't know the word I'm looking for. Um, visually overwhelming. Yeah, there we go. Is that more of a you know pretty much mellow area, functional, clean, and things like that? And I wanted to add, make it in a lot of ways similar to what M had done up there with a lot of control panels, a lot of lights, and but we didn't have the height. So I figured, well, let's go ahead and do something like this and add uh, these things in. You know, figure at some point we'll have a you know a new texture we can use and we could replace these with like isolinear chips because that's what this is supposed to look like. I went ahead and pushed it out to the hull so that you have windows that you can look out and things like that and then mocked up the rest of the deck very similarly but I don't think I included windows. This room here is like an office or whatever we can set it up to be knock out the wall and make this whole area bigger. It just really depends on how we want to go. Here's the lounge. I went ahead and added a bathroom or a head section and then it's just sort of this long lounge, really narrow against the hall, but again, no windows. But if we needed to put windows in, we can put windows in, which I'm sure there will be windows in. And then, of course, there's this room right here, which is navigational sensor, additional integrated slipstream navigational system. So basically a machine room. And you come out into this catwalk, into this area here. And down there, I think it's a lot more sensor equipment and things like that. So... Yeah, and I don't know if we're going to run a catwalk along the sides or not. Most likely we will. Not really sure at this point. So that's that. And again, as far as roof and stuff goes, I'm not really sure how I'll roof it to hide the magenta. Probably run a line along this magenta here, and so this will be half slab this way. Same thing over there, and same thing back here, and along this corner here. Probably be machinery to hide as much of it as I can. And of course, the port side is a lot like the starboard side. Here is, uh, what is this room here called? This is Sensor Cluster System Monitoring Suite. This one here is a very busy room because it's a sensor monitoring suite. And again, when we get different, you know, panels, we can switch out a lot of this stuff here. So that's kind of what this is, like a computer processor for, you know, checking what it, the sensors detect. So you don't have to like, what's this, what's this, what's this? Let the computer do it for you. Let me come back further through here. We've got a nice open like another sensor lab area in here so it'll be set up for labs things like that and then we have this room back here which is again a mirror of the computer core top over there and let's us uh, let's go out this door here and work our way down over here is what is this room this is additional cryo cooling systems lab so this is kind of a labs area let's kind of set it up as like a little ment a monitoring station there and mentoring station little office area here, little work of coves, little storage room, you know, some little beakers and work table areas and you know just trying to make it look lavish. Lavish? No, lab-ish. Like a lab, but ish. 
So come over here, got a cord or the ones here. Yeah, um, you can see from the from the center view of my of my map program. Um, let's see if we can go ahead and turn that on here. Uh, I keep getting the keys mixed up on this thing, so try it this way. This is the deck lay layout for deck 30. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm happy. So, yeah, there we are, right there, that little arrow. Anyways, let's go ahead and back it out of that. There we go. So the deck plan itself looks pretty good. I'm pretty solid with it, and everything else, I'm, at least I hope it works out well for us. Liquid coolant centrifuge support and cleanser filter system. More machinery. Yay for machinery. And you can see here I kind of half slab to hide the roof above us, which is mostly magenta. And then we have the cryo tanks and things like that to come through here. You can pause the video and read all this stuff if you want. But it's just basically cryo tanks. And then the cryo tanks themselves, and they go way down there to the cargo bay, and then you can get loaded and loaded from there. And then we'll go up to the corridor. I did add a corridor through here, because why not? This area here is different than this area here. And then the this is all machinery and stuff, and then down here is actual cryo storage. So all those tanks you saw up there, this room will be filled with them. So just run the run filling or connecting pipes up into here to this machine into this room with just as basically machinery. So why not have corridor going through here? Um, I'm happy with it. So yeah, battery room, and then we have another lab back in here. These are shocker blocks. One day these will be textured, and uh, you know. But I thought it was kind of cool to see that, <laughs> so that's why I included them. Uh, I'd like to use more of these later on, but again, we got to wait for new textures and stuff. And this is a nice little lab area here. Again, trying to make it lab looking as much as possible. You know, I only do it for a few labs here and there. I have tried and tried to turn that sound off, and I'll be darned if I can figure out how. I've turned the sounds completely off, and I still get it. So it is what it is. Anyways, we come down through here, and we're along the rim of the ship, and they're back into the computer core, and then we have like, you know, a little storage area here, and I think most of this is labs along this deck, and the next deck it's probably crew quarters, or a mixture of crew quarters and labs. Got a little lounge area, I believe. Yeah, a little lounge. And this goes to the center of the ship. Turbo lift. This it was another Larry I decided to mock up. Uh, M labeled it as tactical planning lab, so I tried to make it look like a tactical planning lab. Basically, you have a, your viewports, you know, for like in this quadrant, this quadrant, this quadrant, and you have like targeting things here, and then a little sit around. Let's let's you know talk about what we're gonna do and drink coffee, that sort of a thing. He's like that's what people you know do when they're in charge. They just sit around, read emails, and drink coffee. Lounge, or excuse me, not a lounge, storage, my bad. Come over here. This is another tactical planning, oh, well, it's not another tactical planning lab, because the other one you get to from this quarter, I didn't fill in that room there because it's uh, like a hazard team sort of a thing. So it's probably going to be, you know, probably some, some beds, a little room here, and then a lot of storage for equipment and stuff like that, but it's... Emergency response team suite. So hazard team. Just haven't gone around to designing what the hazard team room looks like. Here's another planning room, tactical planning lab. This one here's slightly different. In other words, you have a horseshoe with two monitors and so what will we do today? Well let us plan the attack of Kronos. And we're adjourned. So let us go this way and to the center of the ship. We have a little basic first aid station, and then a stairwell that goes down, and a stairwell that goes up. We have an unfinished bathroom, which I will have to do. Note to self, finish. And then there's the turbo lift, and another bathroom. This one I might make into an ODN. Yeah, probably turn this one into an ODN. No, I'll leave it as a bathroom. You know, it does, what the heck, eh, maybe an ODN lock. Maybe that might be better off served as an ODN, ODN room. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But we walk along through here, and we'll work our way aft now. And figure stuff out through here. Just go through this little Jeffrey's tube into this room here. 
and this is this is the main conduit down, sort of. And it will be a um, actually you got them right here, so I don't know if we're going to have any any uh, ladders or anything back here to go down or not. I doubt it. This is a mock-up of a dummy tank that fits on down in there, and this was one of the new additions. M wanted to have a means to move those tanks all the way down to the cargo bay. And beforehand it stopped, I think it was right here. And she wanted it to go all the way down, but it was not a defined size tank. It was just this, you know, this whole area was designed, defined as, you know, cryo tank. And when she says, well, we have to be able to load and unload this tank, so we need to lift. And I was like, just spent hours trying to reconcile, how do I move it down into here? And then I had it, had it coming back and then moving down into this section. And finally I just said, it just dawned on me, well, how big is that tank got to be? And she's like, well, it has to be a little bit bigger than the forward cryo tanks. So I just took a forward cryo tank and just outlined another line around it. And the main reason I did that was so that when you pull that out and put it here, it fit here and you still had walking room to get around it. So that's what dictated the size of this, and this became the dummy tank. So with the dummy tank sized, we were able to establish a size for the lift itself and still be able to keep the Jeffries tube here. We, we, it used to be one over, but I moved it against. It doesn't matter if you see this turbo lift or not. In fact, you know, if we really wanted to, we could actually have turbo lift access into this, but which is, I'm absolutely against that. I'm absolutely against having a turbo lift access a Jeffries tube. It, that's just, that's no, that's a no. That's a rule in the, in the book. God damn that sound. It's like it's punctuating my anger. But uh, yeah, it's one of my rules of building. Never have a Jeffrey's tube have an entrance into a uh, turbo lift or a turbo lift entrance into a Jeffrey's tube. It's just lazy building, shitty design. So yeah, that's one of Ray's build rules, atrocities build rules. But yeah, I got it to come down through here. I did redesign this area again to accommodate this. And the nice thing is too, if we ever needed to move one of those tanks up, I think it'll fit through here, but I doubt it. So anyways, yep, Stitcher is saying goodnight and uh, everything else. But M's been over here working in this uh, area here doing stuff and things and whatnot. Anyways, I went ahead and filled in this lift wall systems because when I mirrored I had to mirror these two areas so I wanted to have these lift walls placed so I figured why not just do it all the way down. And I've been subtly adjusting these cargo bays as well. I did remove the EMG or EVA locker from down here because this is a two-story cargo bay. It's not needed. If we need it, we can have the EVG locker right here, our emergency gear locker right here, which is I think what these are set up for. No, these are set up as emergency lockers. Uh, one section could be an emergency gear locker for environmental suits, and then the rest of these can be emergency lockers. Once the pillars are in, I'll be able to have the spacing, and that'll work just fine. So, yep, that's that plan come through here and then we also have an emergency locker up here you'll really only need emergency lockers on the cargo areas that will be exposed to space that's that you know it's just you know because they're exposed to space if you something happens you know you want to have an emergency locker also filled in the uh, the these as well again same story and I've been in the process of adjusting where the cargo turbo lifts come through kind of slightly changed the design a little bit so that there's this little bumper thing right here because why not and rework this area here just a little bit to try it in this area right here because the corridor this corridor I couldn't reconcile it with a double door being three wide so it just on me was like really I don't really need this little alcove room like I have here it just makes this whole thing a cargo room and the reason I haven't done it for up here is because I have plans for these rooms up here so, small storage bay. That's actually not my plan, that's M's plan. I had, a, had it set up for a transporter, which is this one right here. I was actually gonna make a transporter room up there as well, but yeah. This will be a transporter room, just a small one. Not a very big one, just a stain, you know, whatever I can fit in here. Even if I can't fit it in here, then it'll be the same thing as M has labeled up there. So, there's that. And then M's been down here working in this area here, labeling and color encoding and everything, because this is mainly an engineering area. I did allocate some space back here for specialty things, and if we can get to them back here, one of them is a fab station or fab fabrication area. Again, the, the the placement of this stuff will probably 
where these walls go it'll be dictated by the columns so you know just FYI that's how I don't I don't set these up like oh three here three here three here it's set up become the columns so the doors between the columns so we can keep the columns and you know so these things aren't uniform plus uh, since this is here I have to double wall along through here I uh, um, yeah it, no big deal I can easily do that but I set this up as a fabrication machine shop and things like that because you never know when you have to fabricate parts and especially being around the nacelle you're definitely going to need to do that this is a bathroom that's a bathroom there's a bathroom over there and I'm not sure I think these are this quad EMG transporters okay I'm not sure I'm gonna work that in but we'll get it done what's this over here yep gravity gen that's one of the ones and what's this one here be a structural integrity field I'm pretty sure backup gravity field generator okay good call good call off axis what are these here uh, good good idea for this area nice nice shield and SIF they'll fit in here just fine that looks like a part storage of course this is for the transporter and this will be for the transporter as well and then of course back through there is the sensor and the phaser strips top and bottom phaser strips so that's a very big room and then we have of course a couple of emergency lockers good placement and then it looks like batteries emergency batteries good choice uh, good station for a first aid station and then these are probably labs officers yep office labs and things like that could be very cool another big bathroom a corridor what's this one here uh, include small reinforcement notes actually what I thinking I'm going to do is make this this and this uh, life support or emergency life support I think it's life support and then I can make this room here which is set up as emergency life support the um, I, I have this system right here so basically this room will become because I have the system will fit right inside of here perfectly and then I could turn this into life support just like this room here is life support I believe it's actually sneak up here and take a look yes this is the new life support emergency life support systems so I'll make this and this space and this space emergency life supports so and they'll be redundant on the other side that'll work out a lot better for us I think of course this is the change that uh, proposed and M, M adopted for the for the uh, hollow deck sections and hollow suite sections of course those will those this area here will have big machinery and stuff in it uh, Recolator systems, organic and organic tanks, that'll be here. And what I did is uh, this is the main life support system. So again, uh, if we come down here, so if that's life support for this deck, um, this will be life support, backup life support, which is fine. Then life support, main life support, main life support. So however it works out, we'll work it out. But I think I'll make those three down there life support, make them unified, which works out a lot better for me in my opinion get rid of that we don't need it I'm not sure what M has allocated for here let's take a look real quick uh, something similar to what we did with the Enterprise D excuse me with the Enterprise E yeah we had to completely invent this section and I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it blank because I really have no idea what to put in here and I don't even wanna fiddle with it to be honest with you not sure what it is and I don't wanna mess with it so that'll be one of those things that uh, I leave to M to develop. Go through here. I also added a corridor through here and one through there. Again, these are separate rooms because of the sign and then signs. So why not have a corridor going through here? Of course, that's that whole room up here is storage, so it has to be one big connecting room. And down here, it's all related to deflector signal processing. I could theoretically break this room up into other rooms as well but I don't really want to because then I'd have to move the corridor through here and that just interferes with this area it interferes with this so it's just better to leave it one big room and worry about what and you have to put stuff in there then sort of mapping out the wall patterns for the deflector room here and setting stuff up and whatnot and looks like somebody's modified my stuff again Yep, looks like somebody's been playing with my shit again, messing with my stuff, making things look different. What can you do? Yeah, you know, honestly, what can you do? It is what it is. Um, not a big fan of the light wall, but yeah, whatever. Well, 
got up through here. We have main drive shield generator. Very cool. And then what's in here? Main drive hull life support. Okay, I'm game for that. This is a good area for for the main for the main life support, and then everything else back there would be emergency life support. That works out really well. And then of course we have the modified uh, side of the ship here, which we've discussed in other videos. This was a huge time sink, and one that um, I think is a benefit to the overall build. To be honest with you, and the windows can actually be bigger, you know, but. Can or cannot be, I don't know. Probably can be. Either way, I'm happy with it. So, yep, anyways, that's as far as we're getting with the Enterprise D. Hopefully we'll have some more information, or, well, another video out pretty soon, but who knows. It might be a while, it may not be a while. It just really depends on how much free time we get to work on her and whether or not we want to keep working on her. I don't know, it's just... Uh, gets frustrating after a bit and then you just gotta walk away like I did for the last couple of days but then I ended up editing video so I really didn't get away too far but yeah 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 it's been busy down here as well looks like very cool so flying along here just taking a look at stuff and gonna call it a quits for this video for tonight thanks again for watching again this is the mindtrek.net game server if you hit that like button for me greatly appreciate it if you'd like us on Facebook please like us on Facebook and if you want to I don't care if you do or don't but uh, anyways, it does help promote the channel as well as the Facebook page. And if you'd like to donate to the server, the link will be in the description below. Y'all have a great day now, and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Mm,